Well, congratulations, Kayla. How are you feeling right here in front? Oh, hi, Amy. I feel great. I'm really happy. Did, does the feeling match what you thought it might feel like when you were thinking about this moment? Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's hard to, honestly, <laughs> it took a lot to get here. I don't know, I don't know that I ever could have properly, um, I, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting all this. It's been really a, a magical week. Um, it's been a really great journey to get here. I've been trying to just focus on being present um, and enjoying the journey, the goods and the good parts and the bad parts. And like tonight just went so fast. I can't believe it's already over for me. <laughs> what did you think when you were actually in there? The, you know, the walkout of actually finding her, all of the lights, <laughs> the cameras. I mean, I know you're used to that, but it, it, it's different. Yeah, no, it's, it's different. It's electric. Um, the fans, the you know, Bruce, like, I just, the whole week you, I mean, really the whole camp, you go through like moments of fear and then moments of peace and then moments of fear. Like, you know, one day I'd be like, I'm the best in the world. I'm going to kick her ass. And the next day I'd be like, why the hell am I doing this? <laughs> like, it's just a part of the process. But tonight, you know, I really prayed for peace and I prayed that I would feel peace and I did and I felt really good inside the cage warming up it went really fast and I think that was good for my peace and I just felt in the zone and, and comfortable calm cool collected and and ready to go out there and and do it I think everybody wants to know how that weight cut was <laughs> yeah it was it was okay um the last pound you know I'm not gonna lie the last pound was tough um I took a leap of faith here. I really took a, a big leap of faith. I haven't weighed 135 pounds since I was 16 years old. Um, I walked away from millions of dollars and, and not security, but you know, it's a big risk to be here. And I believe in myself, I believe in my team. I feel like this is my call, my calling, this is my purpose, this is where I'm supposed to be right now, doing what I'm doing. And uh, it's paying off. We couldn't hear all of your post-fight, so I apologize if you've said all this. But it's okay. Do you feel like you've earned the title shot with that win? Yeah. I mean, the goal was to go out and make a statement and, and be so good that that's, what, that's what's next. I want to be UFC champion by the end of the year. So I, I hope that I did enough tonight to do that. Um, I hope that I impressed the bosses and, and the matchmakers. So we'll see. I'm not sure if you've seen anything on Twitter yet, but Amanda's yes. tweeted a few things. Cyborg's tweeted a few things. Do you have any response? Oh, I didn't see what Cyborg tweeted. I saw uh, every reporter tonight has showed me Amanda's Shama. Uh, listen, I didn't call Amanda's name because Amanda's not the UFC champion. She retired. I thought she was happily retired. Um, I would love to win a UFC title, and if Amanda wants to come back, I'll welcome her with open arms. Cyborg said, for, for the record, she said she would like to face the winner of that fight. So, Of me and Amanda? Correct. I'd be down for that, too. <laughs> also, there's a BMF title on this card, and there's been a little bit of talk about potentially having one for women. Would that be something that would interest you if Amanda were to come back for that? I'd be down for that, too. Yeah. There's not much I wouldn't be down for right now. I really want to win a UFC title, um, but after that, I'm game for whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Kayla, Thank you. Right here in the front. Uh, to add to that tweet that Cyborg said, that she said if Kayla made 136, then maybe it's time for a test cut. Do you think she could even make 136 pounds? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not Cyborg. You know, I don't walk around. I don't live her life. I don't. I have no idea. Um, I, I know me, my team, my capabilities, um, and that's really all I can control. I can't. That's why I stopped chasing her. I can't control her. I can't control any of that, so I just focus on myself. In that first round when Holly locked up and she, she tried to toss you, were, were My you gosh, I know. She did reverse me. Yes, were you surprised at yes. her gameplay? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we knew that she had, her, she's come a long way in her grappling, right? And, and her wrestling, and she's a very uh, evolved, well-rounded fighter, but I was pretty certain 
my coaches as well were, were pretty certain that she was probably going to engage footwork, at least for the first round, and I was going to have to try and cut the cage off and, and chase her a little bit. Um, but she did not. She stood her ground, and I was surprised. <laughs> I know you've done it in Invicta, but what was it like to be able to throw elbows? Yeah, it was great. It was really good. It was really nice. I enjoyed that probably the most. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla, back here. Yep. You're obviously a huge inspiration to a lot of women in combat sports. You've made a huge mark. What would your message be to the young women out there that are looking to fight in MMA and one day make it to fighting in the UFC? Um, I mean, I think that self-belief is number one. Um, you have to really believe in yourself and you have to surround yourself with people who believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself yet. Like, you're always going to have doubts. You're always going to be scared. You're always going to be unsure. But if you find the right team who believes in you when you don't believe in yourself, that can pull you up out of the, that, that moment, it's really important. Um... And yeah, the sky's the limit. Look, I was a 16-year, I was a six-year-old kid who sat on my mom, my grandma's couch and watched the '96 Olympics, and it was sprinters. And I said, I want to do that someday. I can't sprint for nothing, <laughs> but I had a dream, and I turned that dream into to judo. And I, I, I'm not a special athlete. I'm not some freak of nature, but I, I have a indomitable spirit. And I have the, the perfect team um, around me. And that has gotten me very far in this life. And it can get anyone far. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kayla, right here. Uh, Kayla, uh, just first logistically, about how much did you rehydrate to when you got in the cage tonight? Uh, I was 160 pounds with my clothes on. Is that similar? Like my shoes and stuff. Uh, and about, where, about how much do you usually rehydrate back when you were at 55? 160 pounds. Oh, wow. And then uh, second question, uh, you've talked about it, being a mom, adopting your niece and nephew. I'm wondering, you know, like, what do they think of everything? Because seeing mom on the whole UFC 300 and everything, I have mm. to imagine it's quite the conversation at the house. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know, I learned, honestly, my kids taught me a very beautiful lesson, and that was after my first, my only loss. Um... I came home, and my daughter, who is in therapy, I spoke to her therapist, and I said, um, hey, how's Kyla doing? Because they were at the fight, and they watched me lose. And they said, I said, hey, how's Kyla doing? Is she okay? Like, I thought she was going to, I don't know. I didn't know what I was thinking. But to me, I couldn't believe that I lost, and I was such a wreck mentally. Um, I thought maybe my daughter was too. And her therapist said, what do you mean? And I said, is she okay? Has she talked about the loss? Has she talked about it? She said, oh yeah, she told me you guys went to New York. She got to eat pizza on Thanksgiving. My mom had a fight. She lost, but we went and got ice cream after. And then we all flew home. And like, she was like, Kayla, she doesn't give a shit if you win or lose. And she doesn't care what you do. Like, she cares that you love her and that you show up for her. Um, and that changed my life in a very, very big way. So they don't care. They don't even know what they're like. I mean, my daughter loves to come to the fights and watch, but that's my number one job is to be the best mom I can be for them. Um, this is my personal dream. It's not their dream. So they don't care. Um, if you can compare them, what is it like winning your UFC debut compared to going out there and being a, handed a million dollar check when you win? Who said, I'm not getting the, both of those tonight. <laughs> <laughs> How would you compare, though, the feeling? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously winning a title in anything is, is usually very special. But tonight, on ha such a historic night, UFC 300, my debut, new weight class, legend of the sport, uh, Holly Holm. Tonight was very special. I mean, it probably goes Olympics, Olympics, my my judo world title, and I don't know. I mean, t I, it's pretty damn pretty damn cool. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Kayla, one more in the front, one front right here. Um, just a quick one, right? Yeah. Uh, I was told to let you know that Bo won his fight. Oh, thank gosh. How'd he win? Rear naked choke. <laughs> Stealing my moves. Uh, Kayla, back here. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, just one quick one. Uh, you had an embrace with Holly Holm after you hugged and, and you said something to her. Can you share with us what uh, you told her and maybe what she told you? I asked her if we could pray together. And then I prayed for her and her family and I thanked her um, for being an inspiration and um, for paving the way and um, for, uh, for giving me the honor of sharing the cage with her. And um, I thanked God for her. Thank you. Kayla? Yeah. I know you've heard, um, you know, throughout your career up until this, you fought nobodies, blah, 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 blah. You've, and you've always said, you know, everyone you step in there, you have much respect for. Yeah. But now you go out there and beat Kali Holm, yeah. the champion. Like, does it feel good to shut people up? I mean, it's never going to shut anybody up. They're all going to say, oh, she's blah, 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 and blah, 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 and you're a weight bully now, and blah, 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 blah. So, like, I just don't really care what people think anymore. I have kind of, with age and time, and just kind of getting sick of it, <laughs> I've just learned to, like, turn it off. Like, I don't, I don't care what you think of me. I know who I am. The people who love me know who I am. And that's enough for me. With now that you've done the weight cut, what is what is like a turnaround time? Like how 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 soon can you fight? That's a good question. I don't know. Like <laughs> I gotta figure it out. <laughs> International Fight Week for a, for a championship. When is that? June, late June. That's like six weeks. <laughs> I think I might be a little, a little too soon. <laughs> It took me 12 weeks. Maybe, so. maybe MSG in the fall. Maybe MSG. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I got to talk to my team. You know, I'm not, I'm the boss, but I'm not the boss boss. Like I got to, I listen to my coaches and my team and, and they have my best interests at heart. So we'll all go pack. I got to get offered something also. So. Kayla, congrats on the UFC debut. Thank the you. Dominant victory. Thank Shout you. outs to all the moms. Uh, real That's quick, right. Real quick. What gives you so much confidence to potentially face Amanda Nunes? Is there something that you have felt in the training room? Um, no. I mean, I just believe in myself, and I believe in my abilities, and I believe that I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right things. My coaches are the best coaches in the world. Uh, so, yeah, I believe I can beat anyone. Thank you. Good. Thank you guys so much.